Relatively small rock bodies orbiting the Sun, asteroids come from the asteroid belt between the orbits of Mars and Jupiter. They are essentially the leftovers, the debris from the formation of our solar system. But are there any asteroids about to hit Earth? What will happen if they do? Can scientists stop this from happening? These are some of the questions we hope to answer in this video. Before we look at this, a quick reminder to give this video a thumbs up if you're enjoying it, and also to subscribe to Brain Impact for more videos just like this one. But now, back to asteroids. An impact event is a collision between astronomical objects causing measurable effects. Impact events have physical consequences and have been found to regularly occur in planetary systems. Though the most frequent involve asteroids, comets or meteoroids have minimal effect. When large objects impact terrestrial planets, such as the Earth, there can be significant physical and biospheric consequences. Throughout history, hundreds of Earth impacts have been reported, with some occurrences causing deaths, injuries, and property damage. One of the best-known recorded events in modern times was the Tunguska event, which occurred in Siberia, Russia in 1908. The blast flattened more than 80 million trees in seconds over an area spanning nearly 2,000 square kilometers, but left no crater. Energy released by the blast was later estimated by scientists to be 185 times greater than that of the atomic bomb dropped on Hiroshima in 1945. Another event was the Chelyabinsk meteor. The house-sized asteroid entered the atmosphere above Chelyabinsk at over 11 miles per second and blew apart 14 miles above the ground. The explosion released the energy equivalent of around 440,000 tons of TNT. It generated a shockwave that blew out windows over 200 square miles and damaged some buildings. Over 1,600 people were injured in the blast, but luckily no deaths. The asteroid named Apophis was discovered on June 19, 2004 by astronomers. At that point, the scientists believed Apophis would come frighteningly close to Earth in 2029 and again in 2036. NASA ruled out any chance of a strike during those two close approaches a while ago, but a potential 2068 collision still loomed. Luckily, new telescope observations mean that a collision has been ruled out and Apophis has been officially taken off the US Space Agency's asteroid risk list. David Farnaccia of NASA's Center for Near-Earth Object Studies said in a statement, A 2068 impact is not in the realm of possibility anymore, and our calculations do not show any impact risk for at least the next 100 years. Scientists were able to refine Apophis's orbit around the Sun thanks to radar observations in March of 2021, when the asteroid passed within 17 million kilometers. On Friday the 13th, April 2029, Apophis will come within 32,000 kilometers of Earth, enabling astronomers to get a good look. That is about one-tenth of the distance to the Moon and closer than the communication satellites that encircle the Earth at 36,000 kilometers. At the beginning of June 2021, an asteroid called 2021 KT-1 safely passed Earth but was seen very late, and it was not the only space rock that, in the space of just a week, came close to the Earth. 2021 KT-1 is approximately 600 feet, about the size of the Seattle Space Needle and taller than the Washington Monument. However, scientists believe it could be as large as 1,049 feet comparative in size to New York City's Chrysler Building. The asteroid is classified by NASA as a potentially hazardous object because it is a near-Earth object that is larger than 492 feet and passed within 4.6 million miles of Earth. For reference, the average distance between Earth and the Moon is about 239,000 miles. 2021 KT-1 came within 4.5 million miles of Earth, a relatively close encounter. It flew past at around 40,000 miles per hour, but there was no chance of the asteroid hitting Earth. In April 2021, a group of experts from US and European space agencies attending a week-long exercise led by NASA in which they faced a hypothetical scenario. An asteroid 35 million miles away was approaching the planet and could hit within six months. With each passing day of the exercise, the participants learned more about the asteroid's size, trajectory, and chance of impact. They were asked to cooperate and use their technical knowledge to see if anything could be done to stop the space rock. Unfortunately, the group determined that none of Earth's existing technologies could stop the asteroid from striking given the six-month time frame of the simulation. In this alternate reality, the asteroid crashed into Eastern Europe. An estimated two-thirds of asteroids 460 feet in size or bigger, large enough to wreak havoc, remain undiscovered, which is why NASA and other agencies are attempting to prepare for such a situation. 
Of course, humanity hopes to avoid a surprise like the dinosaurs got 65 million years ago when a six-mile-wide asteroid crashed into the Earth. But in recent years, scientists have missed plenty of large, dangerous objects that came close. The easiest way to stop an object from hitting Earth is of course to deal with it before it gets here. The experts have so far come up with three options for missions that could reasonably be prepared on short notice if an asteroid was spotted heading towards us. The first would be a Type 0 mission where a single heavy spacecraft was fired at the incoming object, aimed using the best available information about the object's makeup and trajectory to knock it off course. Or a Type 1 mission where a scout is launched first and collects close-up data about the asteroid before the main impactor is launched, in order to better aim the shot for maximum effect. Or a Type 2 mission where one small impactor is launched at the same time as the scout to knock the object a bit off course. Then all the information from the scout and the first impact are used to fine-tune a second small impact that finishes the job. The problem with Type 0 missions is that the telescopes on Earth can only gather rough information about asteroids, which are still far away, dim, relatively small objects. Type 1 missions are more likely to succeed because they can determine the incoming rock's mass and velocity far more precisely, but they also take more time and resources. Type 2 missions are even better, but take yet more time and resources to get underway. In all cases, if the time got too short, the researchers found no mission would be successful at diverting the rock. What do you think of asteroids? Do we have anything to worry about? Let us know in the comments below and please like this video if you've enjoyed it. If you want to see more videos like this one, then subscribe to Brain Impact for more. Thanks for watching.